On the right hand side of the operator's compartment, you'll find a horn, a keyed key switch, and an engine speed setting. By turning the key to the first position, it will turn on the battery. Therefore, you can test the horn. The speed settings allow an operator to sweep in the single rabbit position or the higher speed two rabbit position. This also affects the speed of the brush and the transport speed of the machine. There are six indicator or safety lights on the Atlas. The first light is the engine coolant temperature light. If this light comes on, the engine coolant temperature is too high for operation. If there is an issue with the engine oil pressure, this light will illuminate. As we're in the battery position, the check engine light is illuminated yellow. The hopper door indicator light is showing red therefore showing that the hopper door is closed and therefore if we were sweeping, we are unable to sweep debris in the hopper. This is also important when going to empty the Atlas. If this light is illuminated, there is a fire or potential heat exceeding the recommended limits within the hopper. And the last light is the clogged filter indicator. This light is showing that the filter shakers need to be shook or the filters need to be serviced. Now let's discuss the levers to the left of the steering column. First, the two levers in the orange area. The lever on the right raises and lowers the hopper. By pressing up, the hopper is raised. By pulling down, the hopper is closed. This should be used when emptying the hopper above a dumpster. The next lever to the left of it correlates with the center light on the dash. When the door is closed, the light will come on, not allowing debris to enter the hopper. When pressed in the up position, the door is open, allowing for debris to be captured. When sweeping, please ensure the lever has been pressed up, therefore allowing you to collect debris. In order to open the hopper door for sweeping, I will need to press the hopper door light upwards. You will notice the hopper door close light has gone off. Shut the door, I will pull down. I would close the hopper door when I was done sweeping and were ready to empty the hopper. In order to raise the hopper, I will press the lever up to the right. To lower the hopper, I will pull the lever down. Hopper is lowering. Now I'll discuss the lever in the green rectangle. This lever is used to turn on both the main broom in the side brooms or just run the main broom in the down position. When edge sweeping, you want to turn on both functions. In high dust environments, you want to utilize just the main broom to maximize the dust control performance of the Atlas. The two rocker switches at the bottom of the controls offer a filter shaker, 
with a hammer and a filter, which shakes out the dust from within the hopper, and a wet sweep bypass. This is held in the position that stops the vacuum, allowing an operator to sweep through a puddle and not pull moisture or water into the filter chamber. In order to lower the main sweeping broom, an operator will release this handle. To lower the side brooms, an operator will release this handle. The brush can be in a float position or in a fixed position. There is an adjustment based on the wear of the current brush to maximize performance.